Woo! I don't really have an intro, but uh, here it is. Um, so, hmm. Um, recently, um, probably you guys have heard about the hurricanes down in Texas and um, all of these stupid people leaving their horses in these stalls that are getting flooded out. The horses are end up dying, drowning. They have halters of lead ropes. They're trying to swim out. Their feet get caught in it, whatever. Oh, oh my God. Literally, I can't even. Um, it's ridiculous. Um, so, I think people are always trying to save themselves and do whatever. And I think it's actually ridiculous how people are like, oh, it comes humans, then animals, then objects. Like humans are so much higher than any other animal, which is a living being capable of feeling feelings. It has a heartbeat. Its body works normally. Normally, it is in the moment. But people don't think that they should respect it and actually put effort into saving it like they do their own selfish selves um so that's kind of i i really don't agree with that um so i've actually prepared um i so i have this spare halter for spice um that i have it is a nylon halter um, which is not the best, and, um, but it has, I wrapped it in duct tape and I put Sharpie on it saying, um, putting a bunch of my phone numbers, my name, um, his name, stuff like that, um, on the halter, so in case that there was ever an emergency, I could just put that halter on him and let him loose. Um, so many people don't want to let their horses loose and, um, like let them actually go. Um, so they just think that, oh, if the horse stays in the stall, he'll be fine. They want to lock their horses up. They want to keep them in the pasture. They want to leave the lead rope dangling on the halter. They want to do all this stuff that will give the horse pretty much a 0% chance of living. However, if you were to just let the horses go, which a lot of people don't want to do, but if you were to let the horses go, you could actually give them a chance of surviving. And I know there's all those old horses who probably wouldn't make it if they were out on their own, especially with flooding, fires, hurricanes, all that stuff, they might not survive. So any way you can get the horse and evacuate that area um, is best. Even if that means getting a trailer, um, renting a U-Haul, getting them, tying them to your pickup truck and or getting them attached to your pickup truck somehow and driving them out or whatever you can do to get them out of there is the best possible way, probably then letting them free. If, it, if it's too late, where you really can't escape, I would just let the horse go because believe it or not, the horse has wild instincts and the horse can survive on its own in the wild. Well, actually, might not be able to because the stupid humans have bred the horses for their shiny coats, not their actual ability to survive in the wild without stupid humans interfering. So, we are ruining our animals. Um, <laughs> if you really think about it. And I'm kind of going off the topic, but I mean, everything is linked with horses. People wanna see this one problem as, oh, he's lumping, but it's actually not just a limping problem. It might be that his hooves are rotting away because he's standing in his feces and urine all day. It might be because one of his joints is torn. It might be because he's really anxious, he was really anxious, he got a stone bruise. It might be because he just doesn't want to do the work. It might be so many things, but you just say, oh, it's fine, we'll just continue riding. Um, so, um, it's just, sometimes with horse people and when they're not using their common knowledge, honestly, it just blows my mind how people have even kept these horses alive um this channel think like a horse um he said he says that um a horse's curse 
a horse's beauty is their curse, which I think is true because when, if a horse is beautiful, it's going to attract all these stupid people who just think owning a horse is some kind of trophy that they can put on the wall. So they, knowing nothing, they go into horses, not knowing what they're getting into, how expensive it is and whatever. And because it's a beautiful horse, they want that one. They end up not being able to afford it. They end up dumping it on the side of the road, not being able to feed it. They end up neglecting it. They end up sending it to slaughter or sending it to another person who doesn't know what they're doing. Horses really need a voice and that's the whole reason I started this channel because stupid things like this happen where horses literally cannot be caught because these stupid humans don't even know. Like, there are people, and I saw tons of these videos about these horses that were being rescued and by these animal control people, and they were trained in pretty much every animal. If you're in animal control, you kind of get trained with like farm animals and dogs and cats and little animals and whatever. And they literally had no common sense and they couldn't even rub two brain cells together to figure out that one of the horses, which was like a stud or whatever, and he was super scary, um, the stud was always wanting to be around the mare. And there was a trailer and they, the animal control people were trying to get the stud in the trailer first. And they, they even said, the, well, we noticed the stud likes being around the mare, but we were trying to get the stud in first because he might hurt the mare trying to go in or whatever. And I'm like, really, are you so dumb that you can't even figure out that the mare should go in first, who is a calm horse, who is not afraid, whatever, put her in the trailer first. That's called a, what is it called? A draw, that's called a draw where you kind of make the horse want to go in by taking something they want. Horses and I believe like humans and dogs and stuff, they learn, the, or one of the ways they learn is like, not really learning, but the more you say they can't have it, the more they want it. Um, and I've seen multiple times where horses won't go in trailers and then they'll be like, they'll make them work outside when they're away from the trailer and then they'll make them they'll have them rest um when they're near the trailer and they learn that the trailer is their release therefore going into the trailer or whatever wanting to go in but people don't even understand that maybe if two horses like each other and one of them is super calm maybe you put the calm one in first to actually make the one, the stud, who's so scary, and oh my god, the worst horse in the world, actually go in the trailer. Um, so that's kind of my view on it. I know I like got super off topic, and it was kind of a short video. I can't believe it's already eight minutes. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say that this is not meant to offend anyone. I believe that everyone has their own opinion. Um, I did put that in my description, um, but I've had trouble uploading YouTube videos and it's really a pain in the butt um, because I have to delete and re-upload them. I have to rewrite everything. It's just oh, super annoying, um, but you know what? I mean, as much as I don't want to offend anyone and make everyone happy, um, Anything you say, someone's gonna hate you, someone's gonna take offense, someone's gonna love it, whatever. Um, so, you know what? If you don't like what I'm serving, don't eat it. Like, it's your choice to watch my channel, and if you're trying to control what I do, then there's no point. Like, you have your own opinion, and I feel that everyone can have their own opinion and lead their own life and do whatever, but the only time when it's not okay for them to have their own opinion and whatever is when it translates into horse abuse or animal abuse or anything like that. So, 
thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm thinking this might be my new film background. I really don't have any other place. I know the lighting's kind of weird, but this is the place that I have like the best lighting right here. Maybe like here. I don't know. I'm like resting you on my pillow, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please spread the word, help the horse, and make sure to subscribe. Um, thank you guys. Bye.